What's up, man? 17 fans. My name is Cody, and I want to just welcome you to our video today. Today's video is very simple. We're going to be talking about what I would do if I was creating a counterplay. So yesterday we talked a little bit, and I want to give you a quick recap just to kind of catch you up to speed of what I would do if I was creating a counterplay. So I just picked a random formation that's in probably every playbook and that's the single back ace. And what we did was we picked the play corner strike. The reason we picked corner strike is because everybody knows that C routes are one of the better routes in Madden 17. The, the routes that we did, we put Gronkowski on a fade, Martellus Bennett on a quick out, Chris Hogan on a quick in route, and then we put LeGarrette Blunt on a block and release pattern. Then we motion and we would motion Chris Hogan in, and that's pretty much what we ran. And it seems seemed to work really well as a base power play because you can do a lot of things with it. It beats every defense on and on and on. Okay, so now today what I want to do is I want to show you what I would do is if I was developing a counter play. And the reason that I shared the power play with you is because the counter is a flip of the power of the power it's it's basically like you know they're expecting fastball but you're not going to throw a chain what we would what what i would suggest you doing is think about it for a little bit and try to figure out what do they think i'm going to do so the psychology of corner strike i'm going to pull it up here just so you can see it the far left receiver is on an outbreaking pattern the, far, the middle left tight end is on an outbreaking pattern. The right side tight end is on a direct streak, which is just a straight vertical, okay? And the right side, the right side um, wide, wide, wide receiver is on an in-breaking pattern, okay? So that kind of gives you a little bit of thought now into what are we going to do as a changeup because and also one thing also to keep kind of in the back of your mind is we want it to look exactly the same as the power play so we want the motion to be the same we want we want it to literally be identical so what can we do in my opinion i would recommend some kind of in breaking route for the far left receiver to be your primary concern so if we're looking through here there's a couple of things that we could use the pa rollout pops out the z spot pops out really well to me i think the z spot probably will end up being the better the best one that we can utilize pa counter waggle has an interesting route to the deep post actually we're going to use pa counter waggle here's why if you guys I'm going to give you a second. I want you to look at PA counter waggle, the route to the left side. He's running a quick in, a quick up, and then a quick slant over the middle. If you go to corner strike, what you're going to find is he runs a quick in, a quick up, and then he goes to the outside. So it looks exactly the same, and it's the exact same route concept. Okay, so we're going to use PA counter waggle. So now, a couple of things. First and foremost, when you're running a deep post route, it takes a long time to develop. So that means that some of the other routes on the play need to have, you know, they need to get open quickly, okay? Because it's gonna help us if there's pressure, if stuff like that happens. So what can we do with Gronkowski? Well, one thing that we can do with Gronk is we can run him on a short pattern instead of a deep pattern. So on the previous play, they're used to him running a streak. What we're gonna have him run right now is a quick drag. Just a quick little drag to, to kind of get him up. Chris Hogan is in an interesting position because of Martellus Bennett's route. Martellus Bennett's route changes uh, some of the progression in my opinion and it gives us a little bit of a wrinkle to have to consider because Martellus Bennett is coming across the formation on a, on a really good route that's, that's very effective. So what we need to do is figure out, well, what are we gonna do with Chris Hogan? Well, there's a couple things we can do. We could run him on a straight streak up the field so that when he comes in on his motion snap, he's just literally going to run a vertical. It's also gonna help us a little bit because it's gonna clear safety out for Julian Edelman 
to get open. Another thing that we could do is we could run him on a slant route, but he's already they're already used to seeing him run an in route. Okay, so what I'm going to recommend you doing if you truly want to make this a power play is put Chris Hogan on an out route and smart route it. You could do that because it's, he's going to come. If you watch this, the way it's going to work out, you'll see it, the timing will work out very well. And then what I'm going to do with LeGarrette Blount is probably more than likely I'm going to run him on a block and release pattern because there's really nothing else I can do with him because of the routes of everybody else is running on this play. So a couple things. We'll show you two setups. We'll show you this one, and then we'll show you the one with Chris Hogan just on a straight fade. Remember, you want to bring him in, bring Chris H Hogan in a lot. You want to bring him all the way in here. And as you'll see at the snap of the ball, I got this quick read right here to Gronk. If that's open, I'm throwing it because it's a very quick, subtle read that's going to be very helpful to the play as a whole. The second read is going to be to Martellus Bennett. So you're going to look left, not there. Then you can see this route to Martellus Bennett could open up. Now the cool part about this is the route to Chris Hogan is going to time out to be right behind Martellus Bennett. So you can see that that's a potential option. One thing you might do is curl him. Um, you know, I've seen success with that. So just running, if you, when you motion him, here's a little trick. When you put him in motion, the game's going to basically say that he's a slot receiver on the left side. So you can put him on motion and then put him on a hitch and then snap when he's up. So put him on that hitch right there and he's just gonna sit right there. That's a really cool little play. Now, as you can see, things are starting to kind of really settle in. So that's an option as well. You could also um, do what I recommended in the very beginning and just put him on a straight fade. So you see you're gonna go to Gronk, Martellus Bennett, and then you're going to that deep post. That post will be your money route, okay? It's, it's really going to help you, in my opinion. And I wanna show you one other thing you can do. So if you put him on a slant route, he's gonna come right in that little void right behind your drag, which could be very could potentially be very useful for you so there's all kinds of options you can do with Chris Hogan he's kind of the wild card uh, him and LeGarrette Blount are both kind of the wild card in this so do whatever you think works the best again you want to you want to have every receiver be an option okay that's that's really important so what if they blitz so what will happen is people will blitz you and they will normally blitz you from the from the outside, whether it be to the left or the right. I find people more often than not will blitz me from my left side. I don't know why, but that's just kind of what it seems, okay? So what you wanna do is, you also wanna make sure that your play is good against the blitz. So if they blitz me in this situation, I'm going, if they blitz from the left, I'm going right there to Gronk. Very, very simple, very, very quick, okay? The beauty of this play, in my opinion, is it has two very good options if they blitz you okay so say he blitzes from the right now say the defense looks something like this and he's gonna blitz me from my right side well now I have a couple of options okay so I can do this and what you'll see is this little quick route to Martellus Bennett is now open and we didn't we didn't snap Chris Hogan in the right spot let me show you it when we snap him properly. Forgot about Martellus Bennett's route. So we'll show you here. So we're, we're going to put him in motion, and then we're going to put him on a hitch route. And then we're going to snap him right in there. And as you can see, the timing is going to go. And you'll still have you'll have a couple of quick, quick options, but you'll still have that deep option. And that's going to really help you a lot. Now, that's kind of the psychology of a counterplay, and I hope that it's helpful. What I really want you to kind of get is it's a bit, it's literally kind of the direct opposite of your power play. You want to think about it like baseball. So I throw a fastball three times, then I throw a curveball. Or kind of like boxing, I throw three jabs, and then I'll throw a right hook. That's kind of the philosophy 
behind having a counterplay. In my opinion, this is one way that you can really set yourself up for success in Madden is by having a very well thought out counterplay. So this is what I would offer you. But again, if you have questions or you want very specific suggestions, please let me know in the comments and I will get back with you. Again, the only way to get better is to ask better questions. So the more comments, the more times you engage with me, the better of a player you're gonna become because you're gonna to start to think critically about some of these things and it's gonna to start to make sense. So that's the best advice I could offer you guys on how to create a counterplay. So I hope that this video was helpful. And again, 